Uh, this is G. Stanley Hall about, about adolescence, right? In 1904, he's talking about character and personality are taking form, but everything is plastic. Self-feeling ambition are increased, and every trait and faculty is liable to exaggeration and excess. And this is adolescence, right? It's just this, um, it's just this brain that seems to be out of control. And I got about 10 slides here to just talk about that process. And, and now we know age 10 to 25 is that, you know, that, that emergence of adulthood around 25, the ability to live independently without getting in too much trouble is 25. Uh, and that's what we're looking for in that process from 10 to 25 is adolescence. And uh, there certainly are lots of, uh, lots of hormones in the brain that are affecting the system. And it's not that individuals, you know, the idea is that, oh, that, that adolescent brain is being flooded with hormones. There are no fewer uh, or, or more uh, hormones in the adolescent brain than our adult brains. It's just now that that's begun, you need to get used to it. And, and managing that, that flow of hormones or getting, getting understanding how to deal with it is what the adolescent brain has to get used to. By the time you're an adult, this has been happening to you now for 15 years. So you're getting pretty used to it and you're able to kind of and, and roll with it. But initially when it starts happening to you, it's just, wow, how do I deal with all this? And as I mentioned, when you got this self-determination manager that's now supposedly running self-regulation and supposedly gonna teach self-regulation or cue them about how to manage this hormonal change, it doesn't happen very well. And so there's lots of excess there in this age range. Um, and learning how to you know, manage your hormones is something that adolescence is all about. Uh, and and this is a heightened response to stress, more stress-induced illnesses in this period. Uh, you know, there's just the, and, and this tetrahydropregnanolone, THP, uh, acts differently in adolescent brains than it does in adults. In adults, it helps, it acts as a tranquilizer. It helps to reduce stress. In adolescents, it doesn't. <laughs> um, it, has, it has no inhibitory effect on anxiety. And so we have this heightened, you, you're just, there's, there's this new self-realization that creates anxiety and there's no way to deal with it because the hormones that typically deal with it aren't functioning for you effectively. Uh, great way to, to, to devise a brain, right? <laughs> but so these are happening, but there's new connections that are being built. Uh, and there's just lots of things happening here in the adolescent brain. Um, and, and as I mentioned before, all that dendritic branching is occurring, that connection between self-realization, self-determination, and both of those syncing up and connecting to self-regulation. So you can run your own show every day, uh, you know, and effectively get through each day, you know, in a, in a mindful way is something that we're learning how to do during an adolescent you know, how to manage all this, this amazing structure that we have. Uh, and, and just the, the idea here that gray matter density peaks at 10 in, in girls and 14 in boys. Um, you're not gonna be, uh, you're not gonna have more uh, neurons, you know, you're gonna be creating interconnections between them from that point on. Um, and then there's some pruning, pruning that occurs. And um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, you can read these, these slides. They're just about that effect of what's, you know, what's happening. Myelination of the connections between these different areas of the frontal lobe is the explosion of growth. And of course, all that information is connected, is carried through the connections. White matter is carried to the cortex, to the gray matter. And so that flow of information from one place in the brain to another is something that's strengthening and developing during, middle, uh, during adolescence. You, know, you have to have that, those, those interconnective highways from one place in the brain to another to get the information to move quickly and to flow effectively. And so those interconnections and learning how to manage them is what the adolescent brain is all about. Um, and, uh, and this idea about prospective memory, uh, you know, be, prospective memory gradually develops between six and 10, but from 10 to 14, we don't see a big change in perspective memory, the ability to think forward and think about the consequences of reactions. Uh, the brain takes over, wants to be its own boss, but it's not thinking far down the road. So there's no, we're not thinking about the consequence of actions in a long-term sense or goals in a long-term sense. So teaching a brain from 10 to 25 about how to start thinking about the future and the steps you need to take to get there is that how of self-determination that, that many brains need to learn. Uh, and, and so then perspective memory begins to increase more over, over the age of 14 and into the 20s. So now, you know, you get to ninth, 10th grade, we're talking about that ability of motivational interviewing to start opening the door for the possibilities of the future, understanding what it is that you're interested in, what you want to accomplish, what you want to do, but what it's going to take to do that and how to plan that out and organize it all. So this is the process that we engage in with adolescents to try to strengthen uh, the, that self-determination component. So it now guides self-regulation effectively. Um, and uh, let's see, is that last one there? Okay, they're more excitatory inhib than inhibitory neurons. So adolescent brains are more, are, are wired to act and go for it 
than they are to go, I should probably hold back. So we just see that, that imbalance, you know, excitatory neurons are more prevalent than inhibitory uh, or, or synapses in the brain. And so there's just that natural tendency to be more of a risk taker, uh, to take chances, not think about the consequences of actions and not allow that to, you know, uh, to sink in and guide your and guide you. So we're gonna make a lot of mistakes here in this in the age of adolescence and the brain learns best from its mistakes because it, it doesn't have the inhibitory capacity to hold back, stop, and, and think it through and learn from that. It's gonna be learning from actually making the mistakes. Um, and, 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 that's, and so this, this patience with that process is what adolescence is all about. You know, and those teachable moments from what did we learn about, about the mistake you just made. And of course, it's probably gonna be made again because again, one of the worst things an adolescent brain does is learn from its mistakes. Um, but they need to make them and they do need to learn from them. It's just gonna take you know, more times than you'd like. Uh, and so that frontal lobe development is what we're literally looking for here in adolescence. And, um, and self, so self-determination here very quickly. Um, it, we, we talked about this and self-realization. Self-realization is, are you aware you know, of what you can do? Kids wake up around 10 and they go, wow, why do you tell me I'm good at that? I suck at that. See, they start understanding. You've been telling them certain things, but you haven't really been quite as honest as you should be. Because uh, now they really want the truth. You know, you, you've been saying things to me, but now I realize that those things aren't, I'm not as good as other kids are with this. And I can see that now. And so that opens up the possibility and they can think about themselves and think about others, which is a problem now, right? Because they can become very self-conscious. So self-realization is all about that becoming aware of what it is you, you can do and can't do and what other people can do and can't do as well and how to interact with them, how to think about what they're, uh, what are they thinking about me? I can think these things about them. They could think that about me too. So that awareness of others becomes very critical in this stage as well.